What's going on, everybody? It's your girl, Philly, a.k.a. Visuals by Philly, and we are back at it with another episode of Tutorial Tuesday, and today I'm going to show you guys how to do this effect. Nothing to lose, I let my llama bang, nigga say Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to do the freeze frame photo collage transition effect that you're starting to see in so many music videos from Lil Baby, Lil Dirk, Neek Mill, you name it right now, we're seeing it in those videos. It's a really cool, simple way to take stills from your video clips and add some really dope creative effects to the transitions in any video that you're shooting. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First thing you need to do is open up Premiere Pro. Me personally, I'm gonna take an older music video that I did, then I'm just gonna import it into my timeline here. All right, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to find a clip that would make for a great still right there. All right, that's a cool one, right? So what we're gonna do, once you find that spot, you're gonna go over here, right to this icon, and you see if you hover it, it says export frame. We're gonna click on that, and it's gonna save it. To, for me, I have it going on my desktop. You can have it going wherever you want to. Um, but it's gonna save it as a JPEG, which means it's gonna save it as a photo file, right? And now we're gonna do that anywhere between three and six times. I think three to six times for this transition is ideal. So for me, I'm just gonna speed through this really quick for you guys and find a few more spots that I think would look, would be cool clips. So now I have all of my photos, as you can see right here. So I'm gonna select all of those and I'm gonna drag them into Photoshop. All right, so what I'm gonna do is basically now that, okay, so now that we're in Photoshop, essentially what I'm gonna do is show you a few different ways to tweak the photos to add a little more, I guess, kind of flavor to them. So once we put them back into Premiere Pro, um, they'll stand out a little bit more. Okay, so the first thing that we'll do with this image, for example, is we're gonna go ahead and draw an outline around it, right? Now, if you don't see your brushes, what you're gonna do is go to Window, Brushes, and then select the brush that you want. If you don't have a good selection of brushes, I'm gonna leave a link below to um, a free pack of brushes. They're free for everyone that uses Adobe products, okay? So check the link below if you need some brushes. So me personally, I'm gonna select the color that's gonna stand out a little bit, like a yellow. And the, it doesn't have to be perfect. It actually, to me, looks a little bit better when it's a little rough. So I'm just gonna draw an outline around the subject here. Now, to take it to another level, I'm gonna add a little bit of texture to it. You know what, guys, I'm gonna add a little, for some of the textures and stuff that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna add a small pack for free. For free, for you guys, just so you can play around with it. I'm not giving y'all the whole packs, because that would just be disrespectful to me. But, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I am gonna put a little pack in there for you guys. Me, um, I'm gonna take this paper effect or texture right here, and then I'm gonna scale it up to be able to fit. And then once it's in there, move that out of the way. I'm gonna hit scale or screen, and you can see that. I think for this one though, I'm gonna use something that's a little bit more. All right, cool. Need it to stand out, so we'll hit screen. Boom. All right. I like how that looks. This next one, let's say we're gonna cut cut the subject out, right? So. Just like the previous video, if you haven't seen that one, make, make sure you guys go check that out. Um, the easiest way to cut something out for me is to go to select subject, let it do us, let it let the computer do its thing, and then from there we'll make our adjustments, right? Okay, for the most part that looks good. So now we're gonna hit Command J, and as you can see, if we take the background layer out, we have a good cutout. Now for this one. Um, again, we can add some texture as well behind it. So what I'll do is I will take, let's say this white paper texture here, and I'm gonna scale it so that it fits perfectly behind the image. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Command and then the layer, the subject layer, and then I'm gonna select the paper texture and I'm gonna hit Command J. So basically what that did was it created a cutout that matches the cutout of the subject, right? And then we're gonna scale this up um, just a little bit so we can actually see it behind the subject. Cool? You know what, let's add something else to this joint. Um, and again, I'll try to put a couple of these, these little assets in there for you guys as well. I'm gonna grab a piece of tape, grab some tape here and um, use it so it looks like when we put it on there, it's gonna look like it's 
taped onto the background layer that we're going to use. Okay, and then same thing, save it. Like I said, again, you want to make sure it's a PNG file so that the background remains transparent. Cool. Now this one, let's go up to, let's say, let's go up to filter. Let's go to noise and then let's add some noise to it. Okay, it's already, I think that's a good little spot. Make it monochromatic. Okay. And then what I'm going to do for this one next is I'm going to go to image adjustments, hue and saturation. And then let's bring the saturation all the way down so we can get a black and white photo in there too. And then again, for me, I'm probably not going to add this one in there for y'all, but I'm going to add this tape border just to add a little more dynamic to it as well. We're going to save that one. Okay. So basically, like I said, guys, I'm just trying to show you guys a few different ways, um, you know, to just make it, make these images stand out a little bit more. So when we put them back into Premiere Pro, they really, like you really notice them. They really stand out. Okay, so <laughs> I had to fast forward through that for y'all to make this quicker because it does take a little bit of time doing all that. But now that we have that, let's see. I'm going to try to find a spot where the beat's going to drop. Let's see. Here. So now what we're going to do, we're going to import all of the things, all, like all the photos that we just played around with, right? All right, cool. So I'm going to bring all of those in. And then essentially what we're going to do is we're going to try to import them at a space where the beat is going to like drop or it's, or it's transitioning from one clip to the next right so this is actually where i wanted to cut right here and i'm going to change the color of this just so i know and you'll know a little bit easier if you're doing this effect while you're editing uh, but since it's already edited it's kind of hard for me to see where it's chopped at right so let's see here the one thing that is for sure is that any clip that you cut out you have to have another like you probably want to have another photo underneath that layer right and i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about so let's say we start right here i would say each clip should be about four four frames long three to four frames long so one two three four and then we're gonna cut and i think it should probably go closer to okay right there one two three four cool now let's say i'm like all right i want this to go next right you see how that's here but you can still see the the moving clip right the, the video we don't want to see that so let's have that for an, another four clips four frames excuse me one two three four and in order to make that make sense let's elongate this clip like two frames and then we'll put another one like this one underneath it okay one, two, three, four, one, two. play that and just see how that looks cool that's it y'all it's really genuinely that simple so it's a little tedious trying to cut these clips out um but that is literally it okay but it's a cool little really it could have came Like if we wanted to scoot it over, maybe that would have fit a little bit better. And you can play around with it so you can figure out how you want it. But that's literally how you do the effect, y'all. 
did with that clip that I showed you guys earlier, literally the same thing. Cool. That's literally the same thing we just did right here. Cool. That is it, y'all. Um, like I said before, I'm gonna put a small little pack together with a couple of those assets in there for you guys to be able to use. Make sure you guys like the video if it was helpful. Comment below any any tutorials you would love to see. Um, share this. We are trying to grow the community. Um, and if you aren't, please subscribe because every Tuesday we're gonna be dropping a tutorial. And even if it's not a tutorial Tuesday where we talk a lot about editing, um, I'll also be doing things like showing certain lighting certain lighting setups and things like that moving forward so please hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos if you're not following me on instagram twitter or any of that make sure you guys are doing so and um i think that's it you guys i'll see you guys next week next tuesday and we'll touch on something new hopefully to take your photos or your videos to the next level i appreciate you guys i appreciate the love i appreciate the support um shopvxp.com is dropping and launching in five days y'all five days november 1st wait shit that's six days my bad <laughs> in six days the website is going to be dropping. There's going to be some merch. There's going to be a Lightroom preset pack. There's going to be coffee mugs. And um, we'll continue to, you know, add new designs and things like that to the website as well for you guys as well. So, again, I appreciate you guys' support. I appreciate you guys' love. And I will see you guys next Tuesday. Mwah.